I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Well, the North Fruita's remarkable undefeated season came to an end with a hard fought loss to the Denver Coliseum last night. The high school basketball playoff action ain't done yet because we had the 2A regional semifinal in Colburn, where the entire town showed up to cheer on their Plateau Valley Cowboys looking for a 21st win in a row. Head coach Mike Vig always teaching. And after PV was up nine at the half, Wiggins had a little run here in the third. Just like that, the Tigers, they were down just five. But the Cowboys said enough of that. Parker Richardson from outside drains the three to put Plateau Valley back up eight and fire up the bench. And the Cowboys stepped up on defense too. Parker Ralston almost loses, the, uh, loses it off the steal, but a hometown bounce leads to a nice looking lay in by Ethan Morris as PV is now up 10. And boy, how do you stop this? Jack Big showing what happens when size and skill coincide, making it look easy. And in the paint, the back down and the hook shot. Jackson Bevan using his frame to put the Cowboys up 47-33 late in the third. Back to the paint, and <laughs> come on now. Three defenders, and Vig acts like there's none. Great touch around the basket as PV's on 11-0 run, but they weren't done. Specifically, Bevan wasn't done smacking this one away, and on the other end, just too much strength. Doesn't even feel the contact, and Bevan is absolutely fired up as he puts the Cowboys up. 29 points for Bevan, 17 points for Vig as Bevan hears roar of the crowd. Now Morse on the drive and another bucket and the foul and Morse he is pumped up. Boy so many weapons on this PV team and how about the other Bevan Heston he didn't have to jump for that one a man amongst boys and this place is absolutely loving it as the Cowboys make a little five point lead a huge 21 point win running away literally from Wiggins 62 to 41 as Plateau Valley wins a 21st game in a row and they are off to the 2A region for championship to take on the winner of Fowler and Sargent tomorrow at noon on their home court. And if they can get a 22nd straight win tomorrow, they'll be off to Loveland at Blue Arena for the 2A state great eight and the PV girls team had their season and tonight way out in Burlington over 400 miles away but a great season for the Cowboys concludes with the 50 to 39 loss to Lyman and how about the Debec Dragons both the boys and the girls teams grabbed huge road wins in their regional tournaments as both teams are headed to their regional final tomorrow and tonight at the Denver Coliseum the Monchos Redhawks girls great season comes to an end at the grade eight, a tough challenge against the number two overall seed Roosevelt. Montrose definitely turned some heads this year, making it all the way to the Coliseum. And speaking of the Denver Coliseum, what an effort it was by the Fruita Wildcats last night, taking a 20 point second half deficit to just three points late. But in the end, it just wasn't meant to be. But this team is young. Coach Wells is only in year one and folks, they have every intention being back at the Coliseum next year. You know, I never would have thought in my wildest imagination that we would have this in our first year. So I think we're a bit ahead of schedule. You know, we lose five great seniors that were a big part of that, but you know, 13 and 35 are back and I think that's pretty good for us. Um, you know, and Wilson comes back as well. So you're gonna return three starters and the goal is to come back. So you're more and more used to this environment and this situation and maybe we start better. Daniel Thomas and Jet Wells and Wilson S Sigmund will all be back next year. And in case you missed the highlights from Fruta's hard fought loss last night, they are available right now and anytime on westernslopenow.com.